Hello, it's Darren from innovationtraining.org. Lately, in a lot of my coaching sessions I've been doing with people on innovation, design thinking, idea generation, and facilitation, we've just gone into some of these AI tools and have used these to get ideas, to get summaries of things. The one that you've probably been seeing is ChatGPT, a really natural interface to almost chat with the smartest robot you could imagine uh, and get ideas, get insights, get summaries, things like that. So when you're in it, it looks a little, little like this. You're typing a question, you're getting an answer, you're asking it for ideas, things like that. So I'll show you how to get started with this. You just go to chat.openai.com. So this is a, a tool that runs on OpenAI. So if you have a, an account on OpenAI, you can use this. You can use other tools as well. So if I'm looking at this, so this is OpenAI. Let's say you just go to openai.com and you see options for things that you can do. There we go. The chat GPT release. So you can click try it and get into it. Or there's another tool that I like to use called the OpenAI Playground, where you can type in questions and get ideas or get answers. So that's what you'll get into after you go to chat.openai.com and click the sign up button. You'll go into uh, OpenAI and be able to use a lot of these tools. So it should be pretty easy to understand when you just click that sign up button. So what I'd like to do is show you what you can do for idea generation. Uh, and developing your ideas. So there are a lot of tools or techniques we use. We like to teach people to get more ideas. So now the AI can do this, right? One tool that we use to help you get more ideas is Scamper. You just take a look at a thing that you have and you scamper it. So I just asked the AI tool, what is Scamper? It gave me an answer, which is right. You know, you just take a look at an object. It could be a, a phone case, for example. Hey, what could we substitute? You know, what could we combine, adapt, modify, put to other uses, eliminate, or reverse? So I'm asking it to apply the technique to a challenge. Let's say I teach a intro to communications course in college. Can I scamper that course? Can I innovate it? Can I change it? So I just typed in, can you apply scamper to innovate an intro to communications college course? All right, I like some of the ideas. So it's not only just giving me ideas, because you can always just ask it for what are ideas for ways to innovate a, a college course, but you can have it apply a tool or a technique. So that's a new area that's of interest. And then I also said, okay, um, a mashup. I like to teach this combination. An innovation or new ideas often a mashup of two different ideas together, right? A combination of two different things. It's a coaching session with Legos, right? That could be a, an activity, mashing up two things. So I asked it to uh, create a combination, right, or a mashup of a train, like a choo-choo train, right, with a communications course. What's the new idea? And that's what it provided. Okay, not, not too bad, right? Not too bad. So interesting. So it sparks ideas. So sometimes it times out, right? Uh, or you get too many requests. There's a lot of people using that tool. So sometimes that's the challenge. So, Okay. So let me uh, let me try another question. So if I'm just going to do this, so after you you log in to ChatGPT or OpenAI, it's going to give you examples, capabilities. I can ask a question, okay? So how might Steve Jobs teach a communications uh, course? So let's see let's see what it says. All right, let's see what pops up. So this is a real time demo of what it is. I haven't thought about this. We'll see what it says. Sometimes it gives a little disclaimer when it starts, but then it might give you the ideas, right, and describe them a little bit. So based on this person. So this is also a very popular idea generation tool where you think about a famous person uh, and what ideas would they give you. So that's a fun one to play with, right? So that's, that's it. So, okay, I can also say how might um, Socrates teach a communications course on a train well, why not you know so let's try some different combinations uh, that's what I like to do is is challenge the tool to see what it might give you the you know worst thing is it says hey I don't have any any ideas for that and how it might share that with you All right so here we go but it's given me something you know that might give me some ideas so this is what I think is the valuable thing is we still need to use our human creativity, but this is gonna give it a start. It's gonna give us the building blocks. Okay, so let's try another thing. I like to go for quantity, so I can say, what are 20 different ideas for 
new games to teach communications. Let's be bold. That's a big ask, right? So let's say you were a, a company that created games or you're a company around innovating communications courses or education. This might be your brainstorming session. Why not start with the AI tool to see what you get and it might spark some ideas that you could move forward on or develop. So there we go. It's, it's developing them before my very eyes, right? A communication scavenger hunt or role-playing game. A maze. Okay, I hadn't thought about that. That's an interesting concept or a board game, a storytelling game, charades game, obstacle course. Oh, obstacle course could be interesting. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting ideas. So this is the key thing that a lot of people don't think about with the tools. They just ask for an idea. Why not ask for 20 ideas? And then we can select and develop what might be a very promising one. So I'll show you how we can do that. So this is where I like to start. So I might take a game idea that I like, and I might see if it can develop it for me. All right, so we got a, a network error there. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so sometimes when you ask the AI tool for a lot, like 20 ideas to describe, sometimes it can get hung up. You might get a network error, error especially at a time when so many people are interested in this tool and using it. So I hedged it back. Instead of asking for 20 ideas, I asked for seven different ideas for new games to teach communications. Right, so you can see network error, too many requests, please slow down. Sometimes you get that. The way I fix that is, is by doing a new thread where I can uh, start again. And then I might ask for fewer things, right? Just seven ideas. So here's what I'm doing in idea generation and in creativity and design thinking. Uh, ideation stage, we're trying to diverge and converge, diverge and converge. So we're diverging, trying to get a lot of different ideas for new things. And I want to converge on what do I like? You know, maybe I got something here that I like. I love the elevator pitch idea. So a new game to teach communication elevator pitch. And they describe that. So I could say, oh, describe the elevator. Now, let's see here. So I could just say describe the elevator pitch game more. So this is what's great about this interface with chat GPT. It's a chat. It's like a conversation where I can uh, ask a, the next logical question where, okay, I saw a lot of ideas here. It already gave me a little bit about this elevator pitch, but hey, describe the elevator pitch game more, right? So it's going to give me the basics. Let's see if it can give me a little bit extra, right? Let's say that's one I'm really interested in developing. Can it give me a little bit extra? Okay, it is giving me a little bit extra, right? So, okay, it's 30 seconds. Okay. I kind of like this game, right? So it's developing that a little bit more for me. So now I can also challenge it to develop it with maybe a new technology or in a different creative way. So I might say, how might you make the elevator pitch game a VR game? Well, let's, let's see if it has ideas on how it would integrate that uh, virtual reality technology into an elevator pitch game or make the elevator pitch game uh, something you could do on VR. So let's see see what it says, right? So we're just asking questions, seeing what it can provide. In most cases, I'm surprised that it can share something decent. Right? Okay, so it's giving us a little bit more. See what it comes up with here. We're seeing it before our very eyes, right? I'm just creating this on the spot. Mm -hmm. So this is another thing you might think about is what is your area, your challenge? Can you get a long list of ideas or suggestions? Can you find one? Can you converge on it? And then div diverge more. In the design thinking world, we call this the, the double diamond uh, framework or method. We're always converging and diverging and converging again onto the best ideas, the promising ones, and then building them out more. So there we go. There's a demo of you know how to use uh, some of these AI tools, especially ChatGPT. But we know we also love the playground. So I might try something here. What are, let's say 15, eh, let's go 15, 15 different titles for an elevator pitch game to teach better communications of ideas. Let's try it. What are 15 different titles for an elevator pitch game? All right, there we go.
Pitch Perfect. Now, that's kind of neat. Pitch Wars. So this is the same thing. So it's pretty much the same thing that you will do with Chat GPT. You're going to get very quick ideas and insights. So now I'm going to just be curious. Let's type this in to Chat GPT and see if we get the exact same thing or if it's different. Because if it's different, then if it's a very important question, it might be worth it to use both of the tools on OpenAI, the Playground and Chat GPT. So we'll see what, what pops up. The elevator pitch challenge, the art of persuasion, sell it, 30 second pitch. All right, I think that these are different. We'll do a, a comparison. But let's say that's one of our activities as we've gone through this thing. We started with, hey, we've got a communications course. How do we innovate that? We've ended up going the direction of an elevator pitch game, maybe even considering a VR application of it, but maybe not. But then looking at uh, what would we call it? So you can see here's an example here of 15 different titles and uh, over here the 15 different titles as well. And they're different. Some similarities and some differences. So this is a quick overview of using some of these AI tools to generate ideas, to develop ideas, to expand them, to maybe get to the place where you can start to build a prototype uh, of a concept or an idea. Right? So I love to create these modules as part of our online course. So I've Created online courses over the years on innovation, on design thinking, on facilitating it, designing your own programs or concepts. So um, this is a module that I'll include in, in one of my online courses here. Probably the one on brainstorming is my guess. But that's what I'm always doing, trying to come up with ideas for what I can do to teach uh, this kind of a thing.